almost finished now, huh, Sammy? We're not finished, will it go? I sure hope so, pal. Will it go fast? Hey, it'll go fast like the wind. Raymond? Yeah, in a minute, honey. Little Sammy here is my helper. If you don't leave now, you're gonna be late. Just give me a second, I'll be right there. Here we go. It works! It works! Yeah, yeah. You see? You gotta put your heart into everything you do, Sammy. That's the only way to make life work. I'm sorry I gotta go again, pal. That duty calls. But we'll finish up this old car when I get back, okay? All right. I wish you didn't have to go. I know. Can't they send somebody else? I just worry so much. Honey, this jet's a prototype. I'm gonna fly faster than anyone's ever flown before. They're counting on me to test it out. Come here. Hi, Sammy. I'd rather fly a jet plane. You mean a space capsule just kind of floats around? Nah, not for me. I want to see other planets. You think it's okay? I hope so. Hey! What the heck's going on? What's the matter? Somebody trying to steal my dad's car! What do you think you're doing? It's enough to sell more fuck, kid. What does it look like we're doing now, Walsh? Step back. But you can't take this. It's my dad's car. We're going to restore it. Now get away from it. Listen, kid. It says here, this car was bought by a Mr. Betts, and I'm to tow it at this address. Now, you want to step back? Or I got to get ugly, huh? It's a little too late for that, mister. Hmm. I don't have time to check, kid. Now step back. This bear mistake. You gotta wait. It must be some other car. Stop him. Come here. Come here. Yeah. 
I had to sell the car. We need the money. But it was Dad's. Look, it's really important that you understand this. I have to pay a lot of money to the bank next month, or we lose the house. You don't want that to happen, do you? No. But... Couldn't you sell something else? Honey... That old car's just been sitting in the garage for years. Your father would have wanted no. me to... You would never sell that car. Sammy, I know the car is special. And I know you miss him. I wish there were some other way. I just have to let go of some things. Hi, Mickey. Sorry about the car. Yeah. My dad really liked old cars. He must have been pretty cool. I wish I could have met him. Yeah. My dad was the best Air Force pilot there ever was. So you want to throw the baseball around? Nah. I think I'm going to go inside for a while. I'll see you around, huh? Sure. See ya. So just bring over everything you have. We'll have one big garage sale. Go get your brother for dinner. Hey, George! Dinner! Okay, hi. Gotta go. The natives are restless. Yeah, bye. Hey, Mom, what about this hair color? It's Madonna Blonde. <laughs> I don't think so. Where's your brother? Sammy! Oh, here's your little hairball now. Oh, save it, Mother now. Booger head. Okay, okay, time out. He's fired. Once I would like to sit down and have a nice, quiet... Mother. Sorry, I was aiming for a head and I missed. Uh-huh. Nope. I'm all right, stop. Quit it! Quit it! <laughs> Quit it! <laughs> Starfighter, this is Space Ranger. Do you read me? This is Space Ranger. Do you read me? Over. Loud and clear, Mickey. Hey, do you think tomorrow after school we could work on our jet fighter model? Sure, I'll meet you at your house. So you went to the party and smoothly there? So what happened? Tilly, you on the phone? I gotta go. I'll call you tomorrow. No, Mom. And Mickey, thanks for helping me try to save my dad. It's Cardi B. No problem. Hey, I think you hear my mom coming, and I'm already in trouble. Bye. Good night, Space Ranger. Good night, Mrs. Curtis. Good night, Starfighter. Sweet dreams. I'll leave your nightlight on, Star. Mickey, are you there? What? I had that dream again, the one where I'm falling. 
But that's nice. Go back to sleep, Sammy. my subhumanoid little brother. So. Mickey! What took you so long? I thought we were gonna work on the model. I got a better idea. Close your eyes. What for? Just close your eyes. Mickey, I keep all my money in a secret hiding place. Believe me, that dirty gym sock of yours is not much of a secret. Great, I'm just about a gazillion dollars short. Hey, I got a better idea. Come on. What are we doing in here? Come on. We're going to build something that'll fly like the wind. So I was thinking of putting my hair up in curls. How does that sound? Well, see, I don't know. I'm not sure if I should wear it all down or all up. And then I don't know what I'm going to do about my nails, if I should get a French manicure or something. Mom and I went shopping on Saturday for the dance. And we got shoes and a purse and a pretty necklace. And we got this one dress. We found it um, in the last store that we went to. And it's green velvet. It's off the shoulder. No, no, it's really pretty. Yeah, it's, it's knee high. And um, it has white lace up on the top. It's really pretty. It's fitted in the middle. And um, no, it's not too low cut. My mom had to make sure it wasn't too <laughs> low cut, of course. Sam, my man, not bad. Mom! Look, I've got all this stuff in the garage, and there's this old bear and skate. Here, try this. What do you think it needs? A fire extinguisher! Too much crap, huh? Oh, we must be having spaghetti again. Look, here, somebody just stuck this under the front door. Maybe it's a recall notice to the furball. Believe this guy, he just will not take no for an answer. Hey, you want to see what I made? Maybe not. Yeah, right. You know, Mom, if I were you, I'd just give this guy a piece of my mind. Better be a small piece. Yeah. <laughs>
get a concussion. Way to go, doink. Well, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. These were some pretty expensive x-rays. I hope you learned your lesson well. You know, it could have been a lot worse. What were you thinking, Sammy? If anything ever happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. Get off the phone, Tilly. Okay, Mom. Anyways, I gotta talk quieter. My mom told yeah, me to get up. Sammy, very, very... Yeah, but I'm totally serious. Hi, Sam. I waited for you at the arcade. What gives? No, I didn't feel like it. Head hurt? No, not much. Want to do something outside? No. No, thanks. I don't know. Pick it up. Uh, uh, it's addressed to you. You pick it up. Yes, Mom? Did you clean up your room? Yes, Mom. Did you put the stuff together for the garage sale? Yes, Mom. Hey, this package came for you. It's here. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Wrong thing. Well, this looks like it might be a wheel or something. Wait, if you break it, you won't be able to get your money back. I don't want my money back. This is supposed to be my skateboard. And look at these instructions. Even NASA couldn't figure this stuff out. Yeah, well, it definitely looks like you've been ripped off. Well, we'll just see about that. I'm taking this stuff back.
Hello? Is anybody in here? This is too weird. Hello? Uh, I uh, ordered this skateboard, and I'd like to return it. I am sensing a dissatisfied customer. Yeah, well, I ordered this skateboard, like the one from the catalog, and all I got was a box of goofy parts. Perhaps you should try reading the instructions. Yeah, that's another thing. Who can read this stuff? It's just a bunch of nonsense. Have you looked at it closely? You know, sometimes things aren't what they seem to be. Huh? Perhaps it's a puzzle, an enigma, a riddle, a conundrum. A what? A mystery that you might have to solve. Well, look, all I want is a skateboard. So if I feel the need for an enigma coming on, I'll watch Jeopardy, OK? <sighs> I'm very much afraid a refund will be impossible. Hey, wait a minute. I sent in 10 bucks, and all I got was a box of useless junk. That's a cheat. Well. Perhaps I might be able to uh, decipher the instructions for you. Well, OK. If you're sure that all the stuff will turn into a skateboard. But I don't see how. My name is Zeno. Sammy Curtis. All right, Sammy Curtis. Let's build an enigma. Let's build an enigma. Now, I'll show you how simple it is when you just follow, when you just read. Instructions are highly overrated anyway. Now, one of the most important things when working with precision instruments is that if, if, if things don't fit, then for, <coughs> force them. <laughs> and if they break, you need a new one anyway. Oh! What was that? It was a thought being born, an idea, a revelation. A thought? We need the proper tools. Uh, maybe something a little smaller? Uh, Klingostat, perhaps. Or, or even better, a xenopeter. Axenopeter, yes, that's huh? the one. Lois, hi, Bert, Squire. I know who you are. You've sent me at least a dozen different offers for my house, each one more insulting than the last. I thought I made it perfectly clear that I'm not interested. L Lois, the bank's going to foreclose on your house. Now, why don't you take my offer before the bank takes your house? <sighs> my financial affairs are none of your business. I'll find a way to keep my house. Well, you only have till the end of the month before they foreclose. Now, look, I am a family man. I understand what you're going through. Now, look. If you don't take my offer, I'll get it from the bank anyway at half of what I'm offering you. That doesn't make sense, does it? Get off my property. 
Well, this is all going to be high-rises here, Lois. I can get you a low-down payment on a good condo. Uh, okay, okay, we're leaving. Uh, Bill, let's go, let's go. Mess with me. Now we must fine-tune what we have created. There you are. What do you think? Wow. Totally cool, Zeno. Come on, Sammy. I've got a helmet and some pads for you. Put them on. You will need them. Oh, awesome. Sammy. Believe, Sammy. Believe. Sammy, you certainly learned fast. You got the hang of it immediately. But most important, you must put your heart into everything you do. The difference between genius and stupidity, my boy, is that genius has its limits. Thanks, Zeno. Thanks for helping me put this puzzle together. This is only a small part of the puzzle. It's up to you to put the other pieces into place all by yourself. Other pieces? What other pieces? Zeno? Zeno? What other pieces? Ow! Air time. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah! Heads up! Oh! oh. oh. I'm coming, I'm coming up. Uh. Watch me grind this way. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
Sure he is. He's here to check out the winning talent. If your head gets any bigger, Squires, you're gonna have to take it off with a crowbar. No brag, just facts. Hey, what's up, Mr. Fields? What are you doing here? Uh, just checking out the talent for the competition, Jay. It's a pretty tough ramp this year. Hey, no problem. I'm your man, Mr. Fields. Hey, check this out. This kid never learns. Hey, Curtis, did you bring your board this time, or are you just gonna fling yourself over the ramp again? Hey, why don't you cut the kid some slack? He could've really been hurt last time. Shut up, Foster. Look, if I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. That's a pretty incredible ride, son. Thanks. Hey, just a second. How come I've never seen you compete here before? Well, I've never done anything like that. Really? Well, why not? Well, I just got this board and all, and, well... You got a big tournament coming up on Sunday. How about competing then? I, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Ken Fields. I represent several firms that sponsor professional athletes, including skateboard riders. You're good. If you compete, you might win. Yeah, well... A place on the pro circuit usually means national endorsements, sponsorships, prize money. Sometimes even money for college. Quit poking me, will you? Uh, prize money? That's right. Hey, it's up to you. Thanks, I'll think about it. Hey, don't waste your time, Mr. Fields. The tournament's mine. Look, that kid doesn't know what it takes to compete. He's just a kid. You'll see. Well, then you don't have anything to worry about, do you, Jay? I'll see you guys on Sunday. Uh, see you later, Mr. Fields. I don't know where he got that board. Hey, don't worry about it. it. Doesn't even sound like he'll show. I can't believe you have to think twice about this. I don't know, Mickey. I've never competed in anything before. And these guys are all older than me. So? That doesn't mean they're better than you. No, but you've seen them. They all got it in for me. So what else can you lose? I saw you ride, Sammy. If they give you a hard time now, it's just because they're afraid you might beat them. Life's tough, Sammy. I'm sure I'm not going to get into the space program by me and Miss Congeniality. I got to go. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Well, if it isn't Sam the man. <laughs> so I guess you think because you got some tricked out board that makes you kind of special, huh? No, I don't think that. You think you can beat me, kid? Maybe. Well, I don't think so. You're the one that showed up on our turf. Look, if you want to ride with the big boys, then you're going to have to prove it. Now, how am I supposed to do that? I can't fight all of you. We don't want to fight you, Curtis. We just want a little friendly competition of our own. Friday afternoon, the cliffs, 4 o'clock. We skate for the boards. Unless your mommy won't let you. Man, you're a real dirtbag, you know that? Ouch, that hurts. That dirtbag. <laughs> it should be easy on the kid. Hey, be there! Or every time you turn the corner, we're gonna be there. Waiting. Yeah, I'll be there. I scared him. Go. <laughs>
talk to you about. It's important. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull things out of the fire this time. Mom? What are you doing out here? Well, I'm just looking for stuff for the garage sale. Well, there's a lot of old junk out here, that's for sure. Your father was really handy with these two. Maybe we could keep those. It'd be kind of a shame to get rid of them. I mean, we might need them someday. Let's <laughs> be a million stars out tonight. Did you make a wish? Yeah. Kinda. But I don't think it's gonna come true. Well, now. Sometimes wishes come true before you really even notice them. You mean like wishing I was taller? <laughs> sort of. I was thinking more of like wishes coming true in your heart. I love you, Sammy. Don't stay up too late. I won't. I wish my dad were here. Sammy, can't sleep, huh? Who's there? Who's in here? Never engage in a battle of wits with an unarmed opponent. Zeno? Is that you? I can't see you. Why, well, here I am, my boy. Zeno! I must be dreaming. If you were dreaming, my boy, you'd be taller, and this would be Hawaii. I don't believe this. Either I'm dreaming or I'm crazy. Ah, there is a fine line, my boy. I'm wide awake and you're still talking. You have a problem. I am here to help. Now, which problem on my list would that be? My mom's money problems? A bunch of guys that want to pulverize me? Or that I'm talking to a skateboard? Perhaps there is a single answer to all your problems. This is an enigma, right? <laughs> Correct. Well, you're definitely Zeno. No one else I know talks in riddles. I just uh, don't know how you're doing it. Let's just call it an infraction of the xenological physics of the time warp space continuum and leave it at that. Your problem with the other boys, we'll solve together. And I just don't know what I'm going to do. And I've got it exactly for tomorrow to figure it out. When your head is confused, listen to your heart. Yeah, I'm listening, I'm listening. But I'm only getting static.
Jay, you don't really expect the kid to show, do you? He'll show. Come on, Jay. I mean, you're not actually gonna go through with this. I mean, it's stupid. No, you're stupid. Look, it's just a game of chicken. I run the course, I do a few choice moves, me and him head for the cliffs, he bails out at the last minute, and I get his cool board. It's simple. Hey, Sammy, everyone's at the arcade. Aren't you coming? No, I got something I gotta do. Well, what is it? I'll come with you. No, you can't. Why not? Look, Mickey, you just can't. But I can help. Look, Mickey, there's something I gotta do, and I gotta do it alone. There's some things a guy's gotta handle by himself without a girl tagging along, okay? Man, it must be something stupid. Uh, Lois, uh, charmed as always. I'd love to stay and chat, but I got a, a important meeting. We'll, we'll talk later. <sighs> oh, that man. Oh, this is lovely. It's a pity I don't have anything else to do except pick up that dress all day. And then you just get work. Just about enough of you, Bert Squires. <sighs> I said no, and I mean no! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. I'm really sorry. I thought you were somebody else. Just, just stay right there, and I'll, I'll be right there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really thought you were somebody else. Oh, I'm glad to know it wasn't meant for me. <sighs> Please, come in. I... I don't think that's such a good idea, actually. Oh, right. Uh, just stay right there for a minute. I... Get some of this off you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think we got most of it. I'm Ken Fields. Oh, hi. I, I, I just can't apologize enough. I... It's okay, really. Uh, uh... <gasps> Are you Mrs. Curtis? Yes. Well, I was hoping to talk to your son, Sam. Is he here? Uh, no, he... Um, is he in some kind of trouble? No, actually. Uh, I just wanted to bring by this tournament rule book and some information. I wanted to speak to him. I was just hoping the other boys hadn't talked him out of competing. Tournament rule book. <laughs> Maybe you should just come in and tell me what you're talking about. Uh, Please. Okay. Friday afternoon, the cliffs, four o'clock. We skate for the boards. Cadet Samuel Curtis reporting for duty, sir. At ease, son. What can I do for you? I. I flew a top-secret mission in Desert Storm as a civilian, and, well, I'm ready to fly for my country as a proud member of the United States Air Force, sir. I'm ready to sign up. Well, you look kind of young to have accomplished all that. I'm short for my age, sir. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you come back in a couple years and the Air Force will be proud to serve with you. Yes, sir. Four o'clock, be there. Or every time you turn around, we'll be there, waiting. What are you gonna do, Jay, when this kid shows up? Hey, I got it covered. This kid's dumber than a box of rocks. If he does show, he walks away empty-handed. Then he won't be able to compete. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Foster, what's with you? Did your goldfish die or something? Nothing, Jay. 
Give it a rest. Well, well, well. The pigeon is ready to be plucked. In a very few minutes, you will be the proud owner of this very expensive board, because I will no longer be needing it. No, I like mine just fine, Jay. Then, Mike, my man, it's all yours. Cool. Hey, uh, Curtis, you ready to eat my dust? We'll see, Jay. <laughs> hey, don't blink. You might miss it. Hey, maybe tomorrow you can take up another sport, like, uh, hopscotch? <laughs> you come here to talk or to ride. Ooh. Boy, it's high up here. Well, we could always go home and order a pizza. If I did that, I'd be the butt of their jokes for the rest of my life. And how are they going to feel about you if you win with this little challenge? Well, they'll hate my guts. Well, I guess it's what you'd call a no-win situation. General Custer has better odds. Hey, anytime you're ready, Curtis. If you have anything to add, now's the time. I never miss a good chance to shut up. Listen to your heart. Well, I would. But right now, it's in my throat. Come on, Curtis. You should have said your prayers before you left the house. Yeah, you're seriously <laughs> cutting into my leisure time here. Come on! I'm coming. Are you ready, guys? On your marks? Get set. Go! your board. What I just did, it was really stupid. I thought jumping that cliff would make you guys like me. But I could have lost something that was really important to me. Like my life. I'll see you on Sunday, Squires. Do I still get the board? Shut up. Hey, Jay, get in. Hey, Dad. Where are the other kids? Back at the cliffs. I just got beat by some little kid. What? I just got beat by a dumb little kid. A little kid? <laughs> it's not funny. I thought I could win his board. <laughs> he jumped the cliff, Dad. I didn't really think he'd do it. Well, I guess you thought wrong, didn't you? But if I had a board like his, he'd be in my desk. Well, we'll buy it for you, then. Nah, it's like custom built or something. I'll never find one. That stupid Curtis kid's gonna end up winning this whole tournament. What, Lois Curtis's kid? That's the one that beat you? That that runny nose little runt? <laughs> yeah, he showed up one day and started riding, and he was good. Yeah, I think it's about time you stopped showing off and started practicing. Dad, a I more. practice. I skipped school all day long and practiced. Good boy. He's better than me, Dad. Look, he is not better than you. You are a squire. You got the best equipment. I mean, what more do you need? Now, look, if that kid gets a national endorsement, that Hick family will end up keeping that house. 
If he wins the tournament, you and I both lose, and you know how I feel about losing. Ever since I lost your mother to that Greek tycoon. Dad, he was a pastry chef at a Greek restaurant. Never mind. Look, we gotta come up with a plan so that we don't lose now. That, uh, that board is so important to that kid, we gotta find some way to separate the kid from the board. Maybe we can use your friend. What's his name? Dan. Danny. Yeah, Danny. I'm really sorry about your suit. No, it, it's okay. I actually had a very nice time. must think I'm, like, so out of it. I, I really didn't know any of this was going on. Oh, no, boys his age have a lot of secrets. You know, athletic ability is a gift, and competing can help build self-confidence. He could use a little of that. Well, professional sponsorship can also help take the financial burden off families. It would certainly mean a great deal to us. Mr. Fields! Hey, Sam. Hey, you. I didn't know any of this was going on. Look, Sam, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. I know that now. I'll compete. Just tell me when and where. Well, if you're sure, just uh, be at the Shrine Auditorium at noon on Sunday. I just need for your mom to sign this uh, parental consent form for you to do your best. Thanks, Mr. Fields. I apologize again. Ah, uh, it's okay. Just promise me that you'll be there on Sunday, too. Oh, I'll be there. I wouldn't miss it. Good luck, Sam. And goodbye, Mr. Fields. On oh, things again. Hey, mister. Why didn't you tell me this was going on? I don't know. You've just been kind of busy lately. Sorry. Guess I haven't paid much attention to you lately, have I? It's okay, Mom. You've had a lot of other stuff on your mind lately. Sammy. Hey. You're not doing this just because of the money, are you? No, Mom. I want to. I need to. And the money couldn't hurt either. Oh, it's you. Hi, Lo Lois. I've, I've come to apologize. Now, I know I've been relentless and pushy, but I'd really like to make it up to you by taking you to dinner tomorrow night. What do you say? Well, I appreciate the apology, but dinner really isn't necessary. Lois, look, I want to help you keep your house. Now, I think I've come up with a plan that'll make everybody happy. Just hear me out over dinner. Hmm? What do you say? If I go to dinner with you, do you promise this is the end of your constant harassment? After tomorrow night, if you don't like what I have to say, never hear from me again. Deal? Deal. <laughs> Pick you up at 8. I'll meet you. Vitello's, 8.30. Reservations for two. I'm sorry this is, like, last minute and all, but I was wondering if you're not going with anybody to the fall dance already, if you'd like to go with me. I mean, if you're not going with anybody else already. No. I mean, um, no, I, I'm not going with anybody else. So do you want to go? You want to go with me? Are you sure? I mean, um, yeah, sure. I'd, I'd love to go with you. All right, I'll pick you up around 8. Yeah. Eight is good. That's good for me. Well, bye. Bye. You 
You're okay, Tilly? Oh, yeah, Mom, I'm fine. Just fine. Dan Foster asked me to the dance. <sighs> me. So I heard. Oh, my gosh. I have to get my hair done, and my nails are a mess, and I don't have anything to wear! <sighs> but, Mom, isn't he just the cutest guy on earth? Couldn't you just die? I could. I could just die. Right here. Starfighter, this is Space Ranger. Do you read me? Starfighter, this is Space Ranger. Do you read me? Over. Starfighter, this is Space Ranger. Are you there? Sammy, I saw Dan Foster at your house. Something weird's going on. Boats. Women and children of superior intelligence first. Oh, am I glad you shot off that infernal racket? You did well. I didn't dream at all last night. I was dreaming about defying the laws of physics with someone named Bambi. Today's the last day I have to practice before the competition. I don't know if I'm ready yet. Patience and practice. Yeah, you've said that before. He that knows little often repeats it. Keep talking to yourself like that, people start to think you're cracking up. Mickey, how long have you been there? Not long. Why don't you come by to watch cartoons? Oh, well, it was early and I had to practice. So I guess if you win this thing tomorrow, you won't have much time to watch cartoons anymore, huh? Eh, yeah, probably not. I guess you'll be pretty busy practicing and hanging with the guys, huh? I guess. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, what's eating you? You're acting all goofy, like, like a girl or something. Yeah, well, you can just take your old skateboard and jump off a mountain. Hey, Mickey! Mickey! <sighs> Women. Mother, you'll be here any minute. Okay, there, I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm away, in fact. <sighs> Okay, listen, dinner's on the stove. You sure you're gonna be okay here by yourself for a little while? Mom, I'm 13 years old. I'll be fine. Okay, well, I'll be home early. Very early. Mom, I can't find my necklace! Okay, I'll get it! What are you gawking at, furball? Do you look... Nice. Thanks. Mom! Okay, okay, here's your necklace. Calm down. I'll get you the Hi, you must be Dan. Yes, ma'am. You look very nice. Thank you. I guess we would be going. Okay, have a good time. Be back by 11. 11.15. 11.30. Don't push your luck. 11.30. Okay, I gotta get out of here, too. Get this over with. You're gonna be okay. Yes, Mom. Living with women ain't easy. Men never appreciate women until they run out of clean socks. You winner, a driver. There you go. Here's another shirt for you. I got this strangest feeling that I keep forgetting something. Perhaps it's not something, but someone. Oh, Mickey. Space Ranger, this is Starfighter, over. Space Ranger, this is Starfighter, over. Do you read, Space Ranger? I 
I guess I hurt her feelings, huh? You have to tread lightly near the human heart. It's very easy to take for granted someone who's always nearby. Mickey cares a great deal. More than like just one of the guys? That's disgusting. I never thought of Mickey like that before. It gives me the creeps. Affairs of the heart. It's like being in a boat with a slow leak. You won't sink, but your feet will always be wet. I'm glad I don't know what that means. Good night. Good night. I love it when a plan comes together. Signorina, this way, please. Getting a little darker in here. Lois, I was beginning to think you weren't going to make it. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Vitello. I will be your waiter this evening. Can I get you something from the bar? Flashlight? <laughs> uh, how about a couple of those uh, flaming Vesuviuses? Vesuvii? Ah, molto bene. Place has a certain charm, don't you think? Well, that's not exactly the word I had in mind. But <laughs> whatever it is, it. Sure has a lot of it. <laughs> oh, I use this for my own little hideaway. Why am I not surprised? Here you are. Oh. Hey, salut. This will put the tingle back in your tushkin, eh? No, thanks. I've already had four cups. Yeah, sorry. Mr. Squires, I came here to listen to your idea, and I haven't heard it yet. <laughs> or maybe I have. Well, uh, schools, huh? Uh, we'd like two number sevens, please. Two number seven. Very good. Grazie. You look really nice. I mean, that's a nice dress. Thanks. It's new. Yeah, it looks new. I mean, that's not bad. It's it's good. It's new. Well, um, I like your tie. Oh, yeah. It's my big brother's tie. I don't know. He's got this thing for fish. Fish are... Fish are nice. My girlfriend has this thing for unicorns. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, unicorns aren't fish. Um, I mean, well, let's face it, fish are neither here nor there. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Why did you ask me out? I mean, we never talked before. You never even noticed me in the halls. Well, I ask you out because, well, because, well, because I, because I uh, like to get to know you better. That's the truth. Lois, you know, I always speak my mind. Mm, well, that must leave you rather speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. And I like your family. And I think you and I should get to know each other a little bit, hmm? Your elbows and the marinara sauce. <laughs> Ralph! So, you want to dance? I mean, after all, it's the fall dance. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not really a good dancer. Well, me neither. Well, why don't we just go off to the side and practice a little bit before we, uh, you know, dive in head first? Okay. I really have to be going. Uh, uh, Lois, come here. Come on, what do you say? Mm. You know, Mr. Squires, Bert, mm -hmm. has anybody ever told you that you have this, I don't know, animal magnetism? No, I get that once in a while, yeah. <sighs> they were lying.
Okay, Sammy Curtis. Let's see how good you are without that board. Starfighter, come in, Sammy. dance called. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, you were such a bad dancer after all. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. Well, I had a really good time. Yeah, me too. Um, well, here we are. Yeah, um, I guess I better go in. Maybe we could go out sometime again. Again sometime. Sure. Good night. Good night. you I me? Mean, I need the time to practice. Starduster? They stole him. Somebody stole Starduster. Mickey, I know I've been ignoring you, but there's something I really gotta do, okay? I know where Stardust sure is. How? Last night I saw Jay Squire sneak into your room and take it, so I followed him. Thanks, Mickey. I owe you one. I know. Come on, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful Los Angeles Shrine Auditorium. 
I'm Dex Dexter. And I'm Ken Fields. We'll bring you some of the country's top athletes competing on a monster half-pipe ramp. So hold on. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you witness some fast-paced, high-flying acrobatic action right here at the 5th Annual World-Class Pro-Am Skateboard Competition. This is a momentous event as riders come from all over. Here you are, Mr. Squires. Yeah, uh, Ralph, turn that up, will you? My kids are... Mr. Ken Fields. Ken, can you tell us what's in store for us today? We have some incredible local talent here today. There should be some fierce rivalry for the title. Why don't you explain to the viewers some of the moves we'll be seeing? All right, here we see a 50-50 axle grind, followed by a gutsy move, the judo air. Next, we see a move that requires a lot of upper body strength, the invert. So don't go away. We'll be right back. So get in here. Which way? That way. What you see, fellow? Where is your brother? Maybe he chickened out. It's time we leave. This is one of today's top competitors. Veteran writer and Mom? last year's... Mom, look, it's on TV! Dan Foster. You can tell the crowd loves him. James Squire. James Squire. Riding in the number nine position will be Jay Squires. Just a minute, Dex. So far, Jay Squires seems to be a no-show. Yeah. Well, then riding out of turn in the number nine position will be Mike Rhodes. Mom, there's Dan! Come here, it's Dan! This year, he's going to have to take a few risks to keep up with the elaborate moves I've been seeing from the other riders during practice. Ooh, he's going to score big with the judges for his height coming off the ramp, that's for sure. Go, Sammy. I want to make sure you're OK. She'll be fine, son. You're my best friend, Mickey. Go. Good luck. Disqualified? Hey! Jay was a real contender for this competition. Yeah, well, next up, we have a newcomer to this tournament, Sammy Curtis. First call for Sammy Curtis. Please report to the starting ramp. And we'll be right back after these events. It'll take a miracle to get me to the competition now. Hold on to your socks, kiddo. One miracle coming up.
it looks like time has expired. I guess it's official. Sammy Curtis has been disqualified. Mike, I'm here! I'm here! I'm here, Mr. Fields. Okay, Sam. Just get up there and do your best, huh? Give me a minute to put on my pants. Oh, my gosh. Well, a happy turn of events. Sammy Curtis will be competing after all. Hey, just like we practiced. Oh, I'm sorry. What? What are you talking about? The trip here took all I had. You're going to have to do this on your own. I need you. Sammy Curtis, please report to the starting room. Sammy Curtis, please report to the starting room. Zeno, I can't do this on my own. I'm not that good. Just put your heart into it, Sammy. Just put your heart into it. <laughs> What's your problem, Sam? You okay? Yeah. I think my board's broken. No problem. I'll get you another one. Dougie, I need your board. Sure thing, Mr. Fields. Here it is. Thanks. There you go. Good luck. I put my heart in it. I just hope my feet fall over. Sounds great. What do you say, guys? Hey, Dad, that's him. He hit me. You stole my board. That kid should be disqualified. What for? He's using a trick board. He used a regulation board, just like everyone else. Why don't you just give it up, Jay? I think you'd be better than that. Shut up, Jay. Hey, 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 hey. Look, why don't you and your dad come on over and join us? You've got to be kidding. OK. Whatever. Oh, by the way, I guess we'll be keeping our house after all. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? We're going to the party. Wait a minute. If you go to that party with them, you can forget about hanging out with us anymore. Us? We'll go to the party too, Jay. What? 
can't even believe you. You'd rather hang out with that dweeb and his geeky sister? Look, Jay, I've just about had enough of you bossing people around. Curtis is an okay kid, but I happen to like his sister. Do you have a problem with that? Had to be a wise guy, huh? She won't get you? Up your nose. Ow! Oh, I hate to lose. First losing your mother, that Greek tycoon, and now this. You told me to do it. I didn't tell you to lose. Did I tell you to lose? Huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.